Hey, welcome back. Okay, we are gonna do um, tonight's read aloud with Jenny B. Jones and a Little Monkey Business. It's written by Barbara Park. It is illustrated by Denise Brunkus. Okay, now if you'll remember, Jenny B. Jones had a surprise at the beginning of the book, and it was that her mother was gonna have a baby. Okay, um, she wasn't happy about it. She was sassing her mommy and her daddy, and um, is, was not taking it well at all. And then she had to spend the night with Grandpa Frank Miller. Um, she got to have pie for dinner, um, just pie, and that's all. And then that was the night that her mother had the baby. So Grandma Miller comes back and says that she has the cutest little baby monkey brother <laughs> that she ever saw because he's got long fingers and long toes and oodles and oodles of black hair. So she is all kinds of excited. So she goes to school and at show and tell, she announces it to her class. And then her best friends, Lucille and Grace, are fighting over who gets to see the baby monkey brother first. So they're giving her all kinds of things, okay? So the bell just rang and they're going back in from recess, okay? So chapter seven is called Some School Words. I wore my brand new things back to room nine. They looked very beautiful on me, except my new pink high tops were too big and my feet were very sliding around in there. Before I sat down, I looked at Lucille's red chair and then I tapped on her. I'm sorry, Lucille, I said, but red's my favorite color, and so I would like that chair of yours, I think. Lucille looked very upset at me, but red is my favorite color too, Jenny B. I patted her. I know, Lucille, I said nicely, but still you must give it to me. It's the rules. So she did. Now, I'm the winner for sure, aren't I? She said. I made my shoulders go up and down. I know, Lucille, I said. That Grace said she might have some cash in her purse. After that, Mrs. passed out construction paper, and we cut out autumn leaves for our bulletin board. Autumn is a school word for fall. We sprinkled our leaves with shiny glitter, and also I sprinkled some glitter in my hair, and I pasted some on my eyebrows. Then Mrs. confiscated my shiny glitter jar. Confiscate is a school word for yanked it right out of my hand. Just then, Mrs. Gutsman knocked on our door, and she came into the room with our milk and cookies. Hooray, hooray for Mrs. Gutsman, I shouted at her. Guess what, Mrs. Gutsman? I get three snacks today. See, I have three snack tickets. Mrs. walked over to my chair and she stared down at me. How did you get two extra tickets, Jenny B? She asked. Did you find them on the playground? Then she took my two extra tickets away and she held them high in the air. Did anyone lose their snack tickets today? She said to the class. No, I hollered. Those are my tickets. Lucille and Grace gave them to me. Mrs. raised her eyebrows. Lucille, did you give Jenny B your snack ticket today, she asked. Yes, said Lucille. That's because she made me. No, I did not, you dumb Lucille. I said, I did not make you. Mrs. said, be quiet to me. She folded her arms. Grace, did you give your snack ticket to Jenny B too? Then that Grace started to cry because she thought she was in trouble. Mrs. tapped her foot. Please come get your snack ticket, Grace, she said. And so that then that Grace walked to the, my table in just her socks. Mrs. made squinty eyes at her feet. Where are your shoes, Grace? She asked. That's when big fat baby Grace started crying very harder and she pointed at her shoes. Mrs. peeped under my table. Jenny B. Jones, she hollered. Why are you wearing Grace's shoes? Mrs. Sound dangerous. Mrs. Sounded dangerous. Because, I said kind of scared. Because why, said Mrs. Because it's the rules, I explained. Then Mrs. bended down very close to my ear. What rules? The rules for who gets to be the first one to see my monkey brother, I said. Mrs. put her eyes way back in, rolled her eyes way back in her head. Can you roll your eyes? <sighs> Put your shoes back on and come with me, young lady, she said. Then me and her walked into the hall together, and she made me tell her what happened on the playground. After that, I had to give Lucille back the locket and the sweater with the slotty dog on it, and I had to give Grace back the real genuine fake ring from the cereal. And Mrs. wrote a note, and she said for me to take it to the office. The office was where the boss of the school is. His name is Principal. Yes, but I don't think I would like to go down there, I said, or else my mother might get mad at me. Mrs. tapped her foot, and then she took hold of my hand. Let's go, young lady. March, she said. And so then me and her marched to the office. March is a school word for pulled me way too fast. Okay, and we're going to stop there, and guess what?
Tomorrow night, we're gonna finish Ginny B. Jones and a little monkey business, okay? Sweet dreams, and we'll see you tomorrow.